Welcome to this video this morning. The question reads uh, the LCM and the GCD of three numbers are 930 respectively. If two of the three numbers are 60 and 150, find the other possible numbers. So in this question, there are two approaches I want to make to help you solve it. But of course, one is more of a formula than uh, the operation involving extraction of factors okay so let me start with the extraction of factors and then we finish with uh, the other one so i want us to write the numbers from lcm go to gcd then the other numbers and you allow me to designate them as x y w z like that so the lcm is 900 the reason as to why i'm writing them this way it's because um, I want to write their factors, right? So the factors of, prime factors of 900 are 2 to power 2 times 3 to power 2 times 5 to power 2. That's very clear. The factors of um, 30 are 2 times 3 times 5. Very easy. Factors of 60, uh, we know it's 30 times 2, so we're only going to add 1 new power here so we have a 2 times 3 times 5 150 we know it is 30 times 5 so i already have a that here so i'm going to have 2 times 3 times 5 to power 2 instead of 1 because it is 30 times 5 to give me the new power of 2 so we have 2 times 3 times 5 to power 2 we get 150 so the question is how do we get the other number of course we can have more than one number but uh, let's first of all get the first one and of course the minimum so that from there we will extract the rest from there okay so um we have two constraints here the first one is the gcd constraint and the lcm constraint when we have two numbers presented to us so the gcd says that it must be given a two to power one 3 to power 1 and 5 to power 1. So those numbers must feature here. Just like the way they, have, they appear in the GCD. Now from there, you can now alter the powers depending on what the LCM is saying. So the LCM is saying, give me 2 to power 2. And when I look at these two numbers, at least the 60 has sacrificed himself to give a 2 to power 2. So this one doesn't have to give. Of course, what you should know is that when LCM requires, uh, it needs that one of those numbers, that is 60, 150, and the other one, to provide that number, one of them, to provide the requirement. Okay. So in this case, 2 to power 2, any of these three numbers should provide. And so if 60 has provided 2 to power 2, the rest don't have to. So that's why I maintain 2. Okay, when I want the minimum, then I go to 3, so LCM requires that it be given 3 to power 2. When I look at these two numbers initially, which were given, 60 did not have 3 to power 2, it only had 3 to power 1, 150 had 3 to power 1 also. So the incoming number should have that power, 3 to power 2, to accommodate what we have in the LCM. Then 5 to power 2 is present in lcm and it is also present in one of the numbers so if one of the numbers has sacrificed 5 to power 2 the other number doesn't have to so you notice that this number here is the minimum number we can have so this is one of the numbers we can have and the answer is 90 if you multiply this times that that's 18 times 5 90 so 90 is the minimum number see how easy it is now to generate her other numbers provided that this one is correct, you can only come up with this. Say the GCD requires that these three numbers, that is 2 to power 1, 3 to power 1, and 5 to power 1, be there. And we have seen that if this is not there, for example, you are bringing new number, LCM has required that it be having a power of 2, that is 3 to have a power of 2. Because none of these two, which were given initially, had a power of 2 so the incoming number is the one that has power of 2 3 with power of 2 then you can alter if you don't want 90 maybe you want to put a 2 here and be careful because any power you put 
of these numbers should not exceed any of these powers in the LCM. So that's another constraint. So I decide to put 2 to power 2, then 3 to power 2, and 5 to power 1. So the new number is now 4 times 5, that's um, uh, 4 times 5 is 4 times 5 is 20, 20 times 9, that's 180. So you can have another number, 180. Okay, then you can decide to determine another number because you have other possible numbers. That's what the question was asking. Find other possible numbers. Now, minimum number was 90, so 180 is another one. What if now I maintain uh, 2 and put this new power 2 here? What is the new number? Notice now we have 5 to power 2 times um, 3 to power 2 times 2 so it's good to confirm so the new number is 150 so if it is not 90 it is not 180 even 450 can work so you understand what I'm saying so you must abide by the constraints so the GCD must always appear in all the numbers that's the requirement and then any number you fix here should have its power not exceeding the power in the LCM so that's what we have there so I want to show you the second approach. This was the first approach there. Uh, the second approach is more or less like a, like a formula. So you have, let's say, LCM of three numbers. So maybe you are looking for the, that number. So you take the LCM times the GCD of three numbers all over the LCM of the two numbers which were given initially. Allow me to call them X and Y because that's what I had called them before. So maybe you're looking for Z this time because we have X, Y. Maybe you're looking for Z or W or any other letter. So in this case, um, I can say LCM was provided as 900, GCD was 30. And so uh, the LCM of these two numbers, that is 60 and 150, you need to look for that. And that is 300. So if you divide, you get a 90. Very fascinating. This is because um, 90 is the minimum number. You need to use this 90 now to extract any other number you want. Okay, Because if you already know that the minimum is 90, then you can write 90 in its um, powers, a factor form. And then from there you manipulate the powers just like the way you are doing there. But of course we have one more way of um, coming up with that. And this formula is this. So we have, you can take the that number as, let me call it Z as well. You have LCM of the three numbers times GCD. GCD square that you take the GCD of the three numbers then you square it then you divide by the product of those numbers that you had initially so like 60 and 150 so the LCM is 900 times GCD was 30 you square that number and then you divide by 60 times 150 just the product okay the difference between this formula and the previous one is that the previous one we had LCM of three numbers times CD of three numbers divided by the LCM of these two numbers. But in this case, we only have LCM of three numbers times the square of the GCD of the three numbers divided by the product of the two numbers given before. And so this is 900 times 900. You divide by 60 times 150. Well, this is also 90. Okay. If you cancel, simplify, the answer is 90. So those are the two handy ways of solving that problem. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.